Welcome back friendlies, Axel here with another review for the channel. Don't ask me why, but yes, it's another horror game. This game is called The Beast Inside. I've actually never seen or heard of this game until I was surfing through the games on sale and stumbled across it. I was looking for another horror game to go through and caught this one on sale. It was only like five bucks and it looked interesting, so let's get spooky. I think I'm going mad. The game starts off with a husband and pregnant wife showing up to their new home out in the woods. You play as the husband, Adam. The reason they came out to this house is because Adam works for the CIA decoding military codes during the Cold War. He felt moving his family to the woods would be safer for them. As you search through this house you find a journal from a guy named Nicholas who lived in this house hundreds of years ago. As you start reading the journal entries, shit starts to go bad for Adam. Also, you play as Nicholas in the past while he writes his journal entries. Early on, the first couple chapters, you're basically doing puzzles like moving objects or finding items to help you proceed further through the house. Occasionally, you're switching between the characters. Nicholas in the past is seeing ghosts and monsters throughout the game, and Adam keeps seeing a spy that he thinks followed him to their house. The more Adam reads the journal, the more he realizes him and Nicholas are connected. The story is the most intriguing part of the game. The gameplay itself isn't anything special. It feels like they were trying to cram too many elements in the game, where they have gameplay mechanics from all different games but really don't excel at any of them. One of the mechanics I did like was you have to hold the right trigger and use the analog stick to open doors and move objects. It felt good when you needed to search or sneak through a door, but you also use this to use equipment like crowbars and, and bolt cutters, and sometimes they, they don't feel like they're working properly. Same goes for moving objects. Sometimes it feels smooth, but other times the objects clip other things and you have to move them awkwardly to get them where you need them. Another small gripe for me is the enemy models and how they move. The character models remind me of Bioshock, and although that's not really a bad thing, it just doesn't look right in this game. It's a small gripe, but it can take you out of the moment. I guess since I'm talking about the bad stuff, another issue with the game is you get weapons or things you can use as weapons, but you never use them outside the scenario that you needed them. Like, hello dude, you literally picked up a handgun earlier. This game is filled with puzzles. While some of them feel kind of tedious, there are some that require thought, like when you have to use Adam's decoder device to crack a code. Combination was used. What's this? It looks like a message encrypted with an enigma. Maybe with the right combination, I'll be able to decipher it. Now, how do I set it up? There are other locations other than just the house that you explore. Um, there's a swamp, there's some mines, there's a cool, um, there's an abandoned hotel. So there's a bunch of cool locations in this game as well. I do like where the story goes, although it becomes obvious towards the end. This game probably took me like seven hours to complete and there are different endings as well. I can't recommend paying full price though. I did buy it on sale for five or six bucks, so it was well worth that price. So if you catch this game on sale and want something that has tons of mystery and puzzles wrapped in a horror game gift wrap, 
then this is one to add to your wish list. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Where? Where am I? Why? God. Why? Adam! Adam! Why are you stalking us? Is this about Adam's work? What do you want from us? Why are you tormenting our family? No! Adam! Oh, no, no, what have you done to Adam? Oh God! War calls for casualties. No, there is no war. We're just a, we're just a regular family. You hear me? We just wanted to live our life. And you ruined everything. Pictures, bugs, threats. And now you've killed me. Stay away! Don't! They already know about you. They've been watching the house. They won't let you. Hush. No! What are you doing? What are you doing?